Hey everyone, it is Monday morning, meaning it's time for Motivational Monday. My name is Christopher Donnell. I'm pastor here at Urbana UMC, and we're so glad you're tuning in uh, with us to hopefully uh, give your week uh, a little bit of motivation to start it off with. Um, this past Sunday, we uh, continued our series at church called The Walk, uh, basically how we walk to become uh, a disciple of Jesus. He talks about prayer and worship and listening and studying scripture. Uh, serving. Uh, and this past week, we talked about giving and being generous in the, in the topic around money. And uh, it kind of feels like a twist in, in the entire series where you talk about these very, um, you know, prayerful and worshipful um, uh, practices and reading scripture. But then, then we spent a whole week talking about money. Uh, and that's because uh, Jesus talked a lot about money as well. Uh, he, the main scripture for us uh, was in Matthew six twenty one, and he says, uh, where your treasure is, uh, there your heart will be also. So he talks a lot about um, what's on the inside of our heart and uh, how that looks uh, to, the, to the world. Uh, so if uh, we, all we care about is money and possessions and things and stuff, um, it's probably what our heart's gonna look like as well. Uh, but Jesus goes on to say, you can't serve God and you can't serve wealth. Now that's not to say we're not allowed to be wealthy or shouldn't have wealth. Uh, that's not what he's saying at all. But if you're serving wealth, then that wealth uh, takes the place of Jesus instead of uh, Jesus being God, our wealth and money becomes God. Um, and he, we talked about how we can, when we make our money and our stuff and our pleasure, our primary uh, focus, um, that becomes uh, the thing we only focus on instead of Jesus. Uh, and we talked about how we confront those things is to be satisfied, understanding our purpose and uh, seeking intentional growth. Um, but I wanna take it one step further um, when we talk about giving, I was reading in First Corinthians 13, and this is kind of known as the love chapter. You hear it at weddings all the time, um, but it actually talks about giving even in here. So I'm going to read this to you and, and see if you can pick up a, a little bit of a theme on giving here. It says, if I speak in the tongues of men or in angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Uh, and if you picked it up that last one, if I give all I have, and, um, you know, Jesus talks to the rich young ruler uh, in scripture. And he, he says, you know, the, the young ruler says, I've done everything to follow your commandments. And then Jesus says, give everything you have to the poor. And it says the man went away sad because he had great wealth. Now, even then, if that man would have gave everything, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been um, based out of love. Maybe it would just would have been based on completing another commandment and uh, another uh, box to check. Um, and so here, Paul is telling us, like, even when we're giving, if it's not based in love, it's worth nothing. There's there's no value to it. So if you're giving out of obligation, or if you're giving out of fear, or uh, if you're giving to look good, then you are already at a loss uh, when you give. Um, and I would uh, even uh, take it one step farther because the next part of the this this scripture in First Corinthians thirteen we again quote it weddings and it talks about love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always perseveres. Now, what if we took that word love, since we're supposed to give and love, and we replaced it in the scripture with giving or our money or generosity, right? Like, uh, if I give to be patient, if I give to be kind, uh, I should give not to envy. I should give not to boast. Uh, it is not about giving to be proud. I don't give to dishonor others. I don't give to self-seek. I don't give out of anger. Uh, I don't give to keep record of wrongs. Um, our giving does, do not, does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. And our giving protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. If you can pass that test with our giving, then, then God is doing something in your heart and my heart um, when we're giving out of that place. You know, uh, my money is patient. My money is kind. 
My money does not envy. My money does not boast. My money is not proud. My money is not here to dishonor others. My money is not here to self-seek. See, if we start to replace those words and, and actually put it into practice, um, I think we can see um, in our world, in our culture, maybe in our own lives, where we have not been patient with our money. Maybe we haven't been kind with our money. Maybe we've given and held it over someone's head, or maybe someone's done that to us. Maybe we were self-seeking with our money. Maybe um, we were angry um, with our money. Uh, I just think there's a, a whole nother layer uh, to our generosity and giving if we don't uh, build it on a foundation of love that, that Paul speaks here. Again, we can give everything we have uh, to everyone, but if it's not based in love, um, it's not of any value. Uh, so uh, as you think about generosity this week, remember where your treasure is is also your heart. Uh, it reveals where our heart is. And so Jesus is worried about our heart. He cares about our heart and he is um, seeking the best practices for our life to have a healthy heart um, and being generous and not just generous, but generous based in love is a huge, huge part of walking like Jesus. So um, I hope you challenge being generous. This week. You're challenged to be generous this week, uh, wherever you are, um, but do it all out of love. Uh, so we're praying for you. We love you and we'll see you next week.